Coach Bob Stoops in his second year won a national championship. His quarterback, Nate Hibble, his second start. Well, good afternoon. Welcome, everybody. I'm Brett Musburger. Oklahoma is heavily favored, as you might expect. But, folks, trust me, the Air Force Academy is not going to be a pushover here. And for a couple of very good reasons. Fisher DeBerry is one of the best at game planning. He's 15-2 and two in season openers. He's had a lot of time to think about OU. But the biggest reason may be the fact that we're at 7,000 feet and chasing an option attack around all afternoon can tire a team out that pursues as well as Oklahoma. We'll see how that storyline unfolds. But it is a pleasure to welcome in my colleague again, Gary Danielson. And Gary, as you look at this the other day, Fisher DeBerry assembled a team around him. He said, anybody who thinks you can't beat Oklahoma, leave now. Nobody left. Welcome back to Falcon Stadium. I'm Jack Rudy. You know, no sooner had North Carolina gone down to defeat in the first home game for Oklahoma than the Sooner Nation decided to take their wagons westward. The first advance party arriving as early as Wednesday here in Colorado Springs. But Brent, some 15,000 Crimson and Green Sooner fans will be in the stadium today. Some have gone to the extreme of actually purchasing Air Force season tickets just to get buckets to this game. <laughs> One way to get in, Jack. Oklahoma won the opening toss. They deferred. They'll kick it off as the Sooner Nation is here in force. And so the Air Force Academy will go on the offense with the first set of the day. And Oklahoma, among other things, has one of the best kicking games in the United States, both from a field goal situation with Tim Duncan and their great punter, Jeff Ferguson. Brian Blue, a backup quarterback, and Ricky Amazaga. Back deep for the Airfields. Line drive out of the end zone and coming out on the 20-yard line. The Academy, they'd love to get a first down in their first series. And Boyer takes the first. Play fake, and Boyer's going deep again. Got a man wide open. First down inside the 35 to Brian Labesco from foot. Attempt to return this Ferguson punt and Ferguson backed up in his own end zone. Got it and he got it off. What a great move by Ferguson. Oh, tremendous by the punter. The foul stunt coming right through the middle. Number 47, Marsh is the guy that frees up. Look at that. That is heady. And Brent, for you to recall that safety, that's exactly right. He keeps his head about him. Cute. Folks, this is Fisher DeBerry. This is what he brings to this coaching staff as the head coach. He orchestrates the special. Oklahoma! They made a living between Oklahoma and the Air Force. But Nate Hibble and the Sooners had a great chance. Picked off on the Air Force Academy. A beautiful interception by Wes Crawley. When they don't want to beat him. Didn't spend much time with the offensive coaches in the Bay Area zone. There's a first down. And the clock. There's Griffin on that inside handoff. Look how slick he is. To daylight. For the end zone. Griffin forced out of bounds at the two-yard line. Touchdown, I believe. Hibble. Kept it himself. Well, unless he has to get in with his feet, yes. that should be good. That's the latest signal by a linesman <laughs> I've ever seen. Seven yarder, backup quarterback Jason White is his holder. Boomerson. What a kicking game they've got. It's 10 0. Safety to run from sideline to sideline on the running play. So underneath. And there he is again. Got a seam. That's a first down. And that's the best Air Force Academy run of the day. What a beauty that was. Clark 
with a penalty flag coming late on the play. He to put the Air Force Academy on the board. And he does just that. Walters puts the Air Force on the board. Fisher DeBerry liked it. They moved down the field impressively that time. They're still in this game, folks. Timeout. So he's two for two. Well, that was the Tar Heels of North Carolina. But right now, the Sooner Nation enjoying it. Coming up next, the Valvoline Halftime Show with John Saunders and Terry Bowden. They'll run the toss to Griffin on first down all day. Yeah. Out of bounds at the 40-yard line, Jeff Overstreet. French win for Coach Barnett, and do not count them out in the Big 12. Griffin stumbling and maintaining it. Second down. Complete inside the 10 yard line and Fagan juggles it. it. Dropped it. Air Force pounces on it. They think they've got it. Here comes Griffin again. They cannot stop him. He's to the four. He's He's right. That looks familiar. There's Lehman, the young linebacker. So Griffin with 155 yards rushing on the day. Then it is Kalmus with the big interception. We've come to the end of three, and we'll be back after this message and a word from our ABC station. it through a little more breathing room now pull away from a from a seminal defensive back shot on your side Pibble snaps it high and Norman Norman cuts back spin still on his feet nice run inside the 25 here it is to daylight close to the five yard game party out there sooner fans man they'll travel they were down in Miami The red shirt freshman from Arlington, Texas. They have seized control. Intercepted. Picked off by Antonio Perkins, who slides to the three yard line. And now. Griffin. Like against a team that's better than you think to be a local spot. Fumble! He's got it! In a foot race for the end zone. Heineke! He's got a chance to score! Touchdown! <laughs>
their job. Folks, don't forget next Saturday night. It's a huge one. The Fighting Irish of Notre Dame are taking on Nebraska. Again, our final score, 44-3. ABC Sports Online at ESPN.com. Keyword ABC Sports. This